What's up, guys? What's up to all my University of City Breaks pupils? When I say University of City Breaks, by the way, I'm not advocating that I'm the teacher or whatnot. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a student myself. I'm studying life. And University of City Breaks is all about studying life. So if I call you lot pupils, I'm not saying that you're below me. I'm a pupil myself anyway. This is a response video, not a response to anyone else's video, but a response to my video. Like, I often get a lot of comments on my video, which I don't get the chance to reply to because they keep on coming so fast. So I thought I'd do a, a video where I kind of explain what the poem was about, where the inspiration came from, and then also at the same time kind of respond to some of the interesting comments I saw underneath. There's always some interesting comments. I actually wish I did this for my other video, Why I Hate School But Love Education. Because that one was, there was a lot of political debate underneath that. This is the response to being poor is the root of all evil. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now, the inspiration for that, that video in particular, that kind of, it's, it's, it's inspiration is like, it's just from society, I guess. I mean, there's such a big class divide at the moment, whereby a lot of the wealth is concentrated in a certain area, and a lot of people in less affluent areas are suffering. And I put myself in the category of those who are suffering. Not saying that I'm literally suffering. Obviously, there's people in worse of condi conditions, but it was kind of more a frustration about how society works at the moment. Basically, that was just um, frustration at the situation. The fact that um, I don't have um, me not being too rich myself. No. I'm just explaining where the inspiration for the poem came from. No, don't do that. That sounds boring. No. So yeah, and that's basically where it came from. Just my situation, things I've seen of people who are also living in my situation, and what they've gone through, and how it's kind of shaped their reality in society. And it's called being poor is the root of all evil. Obviously, for people to take that literally. Doesn't make sense because I'm poor. Well, I'm not poor, but you know what I mean? I don't think poor people are evil. It's, it, you got to work your brains a little bit with me, people. Um, now, one of the things I wanted to respond to in general was the fact that everyone kept on saying the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all It doesn't say money is the root of all evil. Firstly, I never once said that the Bible said that. I said, they said to me, money is the root of all evil. I never once said it was from the Bible. When I quoted the Bible, I actually put the scriptures and that was later on when I was talking about you reap what you sow. So for you to kind of say that, it's either you didn't hear me or you didn't listen to the whole poem. Because if you listen to the poem, you actually see the underlying meaning is that money is the root of all, not the money is the root of all evil, the love of the money and what people do with it and the way they use it is what makes it evil. Hence why it's called being poor is the root of all evil. Because if you don't have a lot of money, you're then subjected to do lots of things to try and gain that money and use it in certain ways. Another point which was quite interesting. What, what, what other point were people saying? Um, what was, what was another point? Um, Let me think. Um, give me a second. Another point is I never said that you you can't be poor and happy. As I as I specified is that I'm not happy being poor because I don't feel like I can provide for those around me. And at the end of the poem, I went on to say this is one sided, it's biased because it's the view of a broke man. If you're content with being poor and you're happy with not being able to afford things for your family and etc that, that's cool that sounds spiteful is that spiteful <laughs> okay so i mean <laughs> i mean if you're happy if you're if, if you're happy in your current conditions that's cool yeah like you know what i mean there's one comment i really liked i can't even remember who whose Back comment that was agree to disagree someone had a comment which i really really liked and they said money was just invented by rich people so they can get richer <laughs> I actually found that quite funny. That I found that very funny. Um, in terms of for future poems, when the poems come out, if you want to ask me questions, just hit me up on Twitter. Can you see me? Yeah, if you keep on moving, we can see now you. I want to get out. I want to go make with you and stuff. Okay. Okay. So I'm... Can... Okay, I'm gone now. Yeah, that's cool. In term, in terms of later on, like, in terms of later on, if you guys want to. Um, get in contact with me regarding um, poems um, and poems and like what I mean behind them and what I said etc um, just hit me up on Twitter at Sudi Breaks I've got another video dropping this week also check out the 21 Rules for Men that's, a, that's kind of a documentary that we're starting with my partners Kelvin Johnson and Darcy <laughs> I can never pronounce the second name that's why I just stopped there but anyhow make sure you look, check that out Follow me, subscribe to the, subscribe to the YouTube.
Follow me on Twitter, add me on Facebook, anything. Truly breaks. Out over and out. Peace. There's another point I wanted to address. Um, was there another point I wanted to address? Oh, cool.